An empty steel container is filled with 4.20 atm of H2 and 4.20 atm of F2. The system is allowed to reach equilibrium. If Kp is equal to 0 0.450 for the reaction below, what is the equilibrium partial pressure of Hf? So in this problem, we are also given the balanced equilibrium reaction. So first thing you're going to do is to make an ICE table. So ICE, I hope you're familiar on how to make an ICE table. I stands for initial. So in the problem, we are given the initial pressures of H2, which is 4.20 atm. And the initial pressure of F2 is also 4.20 atm. So you write 4.20 for H2, 4.20 for F2. Now for the product, HF, remember that this is still the initial stage of the reaction, meaning nothing has happened yet. So you just have the reactants, you don't have products yet because it's still the beginning of the reaction. So the product would be zero. For change, for reactants, since reactants are being consumed in the reaction, so you put here minus x for H2, minus x for F2, and for products, since products are being formed in the reaction, so you put here plus 2x. So why 2x? Remember that HF in the balanced reaction has a coefficient of 2. So plus 2x. And for E or equilibrium, you just combine I and C. So 4.20 minus x, 4.20 minus x, and then 2x. So after doing the ICE table, Next thing you're going to do is to write the Kp expression. So we know that the Kp expression or any equilibrium expression is equal to the pressure of the products divided by the pressure of the reactants. So in our example, so the pressure of the product, so that's Hf. So the pressure of HF, don't forget to square it because again, HF has a coefficient of 2 divided by the pressure of our reactants. So we have the pressure of H2 and the pressure of F2. And then let's substitute the values. So the Kp given in the problem is 0. 450. That's equal to, look at your ice table, the equilibrium pressure of HF is 2x, so 2x squared divided by the equilibrium pressure of H2 is 4.20 minus x. The equilibrium pressure of F2 is also 4.20 minus x. So you have 0 0.450 that's equal to 2x squared. So remember 4.20 minus x times another 4.20 minus x that's just the same as 4.20 minus x squared. Next, you're going to take the square root of both sides of the equation. So on the left side, you have square root of 0 0.450. That's approximately equal to 0 0.671. And on the right side, The square would cancel, so that's 2x over 4.20 minus x. Because the squares would cancel out because you took their square roots. 
Okay. Now let's solve this problem. So you're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 4.20 minus x. So you do that on the right side. You also need to do that on the left side. So 4.20 minus x cancels on the right side. So on the right side, you have 2x. And on the left side, you have 4.20 minus x times 0 0.671. Okay. Let's continue our calculation here. We don't have space anymore. So remember in mathematics, the rule is you will distribute 0 0.671. So, 0 0.671 times 4.20, that's equal to 2.8182. 0 0.671 times negative x is negative 0.671x equal to 2x. Then, you transfer negative 0. 671 to the other side. So this becomes 2.8182 equal to 2x plus 0.671x. So this is 2.8182 equal to 2.671x. You divide both sides of the equation by 2.671. So 2.671 cancels out. So that's x equal to 2.8182 divided by 2.671. That is equal to 1.05. So that is the value of x. And in the problem, it's asking for the equilibrium partial pressure of HF. Now, going back to our ice table, the equilibrium partial pressure of HF is 2x. So 2x. Since we already know the value of x, so that's 2 times 1.055 so 2 times 1.055 that's equal to 2.11 and since we are talking about pressure the unit is atm so the answer to this question is 2.11 atm